food chain. Every day you will be notified with a new video which improves your knowledge day by day. So, don't forget to subscribe, and click the notification bell. Most of us, enjoy eating. Food we eat, is important for life. Eating food, gives us energy to play, study and do many things. Without energy from food, we could not live. Every living plant, and animal, also need energy to survive. Plants rely on the soil, water, and the sun for energy. Animals rely on plants, as well as other animals for energy. Energy passes from, one living thing to another, as they eat them. This flow of energy is called a food chain. The food chain for a lion is, the grass depends on the soil, water, and the sun for energy. The zebra eats the grass for energy. The lion eats the zebra for energy. Here is another example. The grasshopper eats grass. The frog eats the grasshopper. The snake eats the frog. And the hawk eats the snake. Plants are called primary producers. Because, using the soil, water, and the sunlight, they prepare their own food, through photosynthesis. In this example, grass is called primary producer. Animals are consumers. This is because they don't produce energy, they just use it up. Animals that eat plants are called primary consumers, or herbivores. In this example, grasshopper is called primary consumer. Animals that eat primary consumer are called secondary consumers, or carnivores. In this example, frog is called secondary consumer. If an animal eats secondary consumer, it is called a tertiary consumer. In this example, snake is called tertiary consumer. The tertiary consumers are eaten by quaternary consumers. They are called the top predator. They are animals, with no natural enemies. Each food chain, ends with the top predator. In this example, hawk is called top predator. When organism dies, and decays, it is eaten by decomposers called detrivores like vultures, worms and crabs. The decomposer like bacteria, and fungi, breaks down the dead organism, through decomposition. They help to put nutrients, back into the soil, so pl plants can use them. In this example, when these organism dies, the decomposer decomposes them and put the nutrients back into the soil, so plants can use them. Some animals, eat both plants, and animals. They are called omnivores. Humans are also omnivores. Food web. Many food chains, can link together, to form food webs. This happens, because most plants, and animals are part of several chains. Each level in a food web is a trophic level. There are five trophic levels. Primary producers are the base of every food chain. These organisms are called autotrophs. Primary consumers, are above the primary producers. Secondary consumers, are above the primary consumers. Tertiary consumers, are above the secondary consumers. Quaternary consumers, are above the tertiary consumers. All the animals in these four levels are heterotrophs. Food chains end with quaternary consumers, or top predators. When any organism from these five levels dies, it is decomposed by decomposer. Question time.
Good job. For more educational videos, click here. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share the video. Thank you for watching Make It Easy Education.